It doesn't really have that strong of a smell. Kind of smells like hot water and trees. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie Fiona and welcome to Tea Time with Spring Hill. Today I'm gonna to be creating a special herbal tea blend. So grab a cup, let's sip, vibe, and make some tea. I have never tried blending my own tea before. I have dabbled in the world of various teas. I do enjoy tea. I'm Caribbean, so I have to. I feel like my holistic background, education, Caribbean upbringing is gonna make me choose wisely today. My mindfulness practices these days usually start with boundaries with my children. <laughs> because I have two kids and they love to run into the room first thing in the morning and try to like jump and be in there, which I love. But also I've had to teach my eight year old to say, hey, if you wake up and I'm not up, I need you to wait till you hear me up before you come and jar me out of my sleep because sleep is very important. That's a good mindful practice for me these days. And then also I put my phone on do not disturb. I give myself time to really be offline, trying to be very mindful about directing and focusing attention and time for myself. Now it's time to dive into the fun part. I'm gonna choose my herbs. They match my nails, it's so pretty. I definitely need to step up my teapot game. It's not this fly at home. I'm gonna start with this one. This is turmeric ginger. I know the benefits already for turmeric and ginger for anti-inflammatory, really good for gut health, and then of course really good for this time of the year in helping boost your immune system. I actually make my own ginger shots at home and turmeric and I blend them up and make them with lemons and fresh oranges and a little bit of black pepper. What else do we have here? Butterfly pea leaf. I heard about this recently because they put it in protein powders now, but let's see what the benefits are. Butterfly pea leaf, rich in antioxidants, promotes glowing skin and reduces stress. Okay, I'm into it because of course we all need glowing skin. Oh, you know what? I think this is gonna blossom. That's gonna be really pretty. It's also purple, which is my favorite color. Creating Say Yes was really, probably one of the most incredible creative experiences I've had as a singer, songwriter, recording artist, because it started as a unplanned jam session between some of the greatest in the music industry in the world right now. Thundercat, Andre Harris, Chris Dave, Charlie Burrell, in a room just communicating with no words. It was setting the soundtrack to this story that I needed to tell, which was at the time, the process of falling in love with my now husband. By writing those songs, by that open love letter, by being that transparent and vulnerable, it really allowed, I think, the energy for love and our life to kind of start to head in the direction that it did. I just think that Say Yes is just a wonderful mantra for anybody to give themselves permission to go deep, go in, go honestly. Let's go one more here. Motherwort, what is motherwort? Has the word mother in it, so I'm immediately interested. Motherwort, eases anxiety, stress, and promotes hormonal balance. Okay, I feel like I'm being drawn to things that need to ease anxiety and stress. The tea is speaking to me. Melanie. Okay, so we're gonna get some motherwort, which I've never tasted. I hope it tastes good. I'm definitely a person that, I don't care what something tastes like. If it's good for me, I'm gonna drink it. I Choose You is low-key one of my favorite records, I think, of my career, just because being a Caribbean girl, a lot of people who are day one fans of me, they know that I always am going to infuse some type of culture into my music. The words itself, I Choose You, are inspired by my wedding vows. They're inspired by, I think, this chapter of my life to feel so empowered to choose who I wanna be, what I wanna do, who I wanna be with. And I just wanted to create something that would feel joyful and raise the vibration. And reggae just raises vibration, period. And I wanted to create a lover's rock two-step for people to have at their weddings. I wanted to create something that people could send to their loved ones and let them know they're thinking of them. I'm a lover girl, so, you know, I'm gonna make songs for the lovers. Speaking of choices, I'm going to choose another herb. Let's see which one is speaking to me. Oh, dandelion root. I have history with dandelion root supports liver detox, aids digestion, and promotes healthy skin. It also is a natural diuretic as far as helping to reduce inflammation and water retention, which I had a lot of when I was pregnant. I'm not pregnant anymore, but we still can use some water retention help. So let's put some of that in there. My dedication truly to the herbal life, and <laughs> the herbal life, comes from my dad. Born and raised Guyanese man, high emphasis and focus on health my whole life. Vitamins, supplements, health, wealth, 
is everything. I was drinking bitters as a child to like clear my liver, detoxes. My mom used to put this thing called senna leaf in our hot chocolate, what we used to call Milo, once a month on a Sunday. And my brother and I would be in the bathroom all day and we'd be like, why are we in the bathroom? Maybe we ate something crazy. And my mom was like, no, I'm just giving you a good washout because kids eat too much junk food and you guys need to clean out your system. So from a young age, I've always been aware that the body needs help and the earth has created everything we need to help it. Making teas and dandelion roots and all of these herbs just speaking a love language to me. Oh no, we don't want lavender, I don't want to go to sleep. Ooh, ginkgo biloba. I'm pretty sure this is good for the brain, but let's see what the card says. Ginkgo biloba enhances memory, supports brain function, and improves circulation. Listen guys, your brain is your computer. Take care of it. Read to it, let it get adequate rest. We all need a little bit of help. After having kids, I get brain fog and I can't remember certain things, so I definitely need some ginkgo below. I told you the tea is talking to me. Melody. I'm so excited about the new EP because it's been a long time since I put out music and that was actually one of the reasons why I put out two singles to start instead of one. The EP is called Say Yes, because duh, that's the chapter of life. The EP is the music that I want to hear. It's the music that I want to dance to, ride in my car to, make love, drink tea to. It is just something that I think after so much time of not putting out new music, people will, I think, really have an understanding of who I am if they're just discovering me and also where I've been if you've been on the journey with me. It was made completely from a space of love and joy and excitement and gratitude. And so I think that when you make anything, even tea, with intention, it's felt. So I'm really excited for people to hear it. All right, so I have selected my herbs. I think I did a good job. I'm liking the way it's looking. I definitely know I'm liking the ingredients. So I'm gonna add some water and let's see how it turns out. Oh, it's green. How riveting. This is the butterfly pea and the turmeric making it green. Chemistry. The Mama's Den is just the brainchild of four moms who we're struggling through the pandemic, struggling in motherhood, and those four mamas are myself, Cody Elaine Oliver, Felicia Latour, and Ashley Chia. And we just started a friendship through the pandemic, talking through our struggles of motherhood and the realities of it. It became this weekly therapy and something that we could actually look forward to because we weren't going anywhere at the time. The podcast is absolutely the reason I got pregnant. I'm not even going to front, okay? Because I always thought I was gonna be one and done having a baby. Had my son, I was good. We started the podcast. Ashley, who had three children at the time, she was like, you know, Cam really needs a sibling. I was like, no, he doesn't. He's good, we're good. And then Ashley got pregnant and then two weeks later I found out I was pregnant. The first time I had my son, I did feel really isolated and I didn't feel like I had a lot of support. And so having girls and girlfriends that I could call in real time, especially Ashley and I being pregnant at the same time, it just let me know that community is everything. And that applies to motherhood and everything else. I'm so, so grateful for the motherhood community that I found and have created. Okay, the tea is done brewing, and the best part is always the first sip. So let's see how these flavors come together. It looks really pretty. I got honey to, to save me, but I think I'm a big girl, I can handle it. Oh, it's uh, smelling very herbal. <laughs> this green color is throwing me off. This is so crazy, but just goes to show you, there's natural color in everything that we have already from the earth. So all these dyes that they put in our food, chemicals, we don't really need them. We can source it from nature. Tastes like nothing. Literally tastes like nothing. Tastes like hot water I'd start my morning off in. Which means I did good, because I don't really like things that are too strong, but I know the benefits are benefiting. I think it's giving solitude. This is the word that's coming to mind when I'm looking at my tea. A little solitude, a little solo, a little grounding zen moment. Solitude, that's the name of my tea. So I'm very, very excited about this season and chapter of my life. It just feels so good. It feels really personal to me to be in a season of, I think, full circle accomplishment. Releasing new music, following through on my dreams, creating more art. The EP is coming out, the Mama's Den is out. Maybe I'll make a tea brand, who knows? Because clearly I'm good at making palatable teas. I'm just very excited for this chapter of my life. I'm really excited for everybody to get reintroduced to who I am and everything that I'm building. More motherhood, more wellness, more music. Thanks for joining Tea Time with me, Melanie Fiona, AKA Felony Miona. I got bars like Dove. And um, I'll see you guys soon.